Pollock, welcome. Welcome back to the show, sir. Good to be with you. Uh, let me start. I know you've you talked about this with a colleague earlier, so I don't want to be re totally repetitive uh, on that. Um, you had said your hashtag war. It sounded like you don't want it to be interpreted as Breitbart's declaring war on the White House, that this is more about your, uh, the, what Breitbart's uh, philosophy has been, you know, whether it's about the media, the Democrats, uh, uh, conventional Republicans. But is there going to be a war with this White House? I mean, it's it certainly on one hand you're saying no. On the other hand, you put a, your own warning out there, don't become Arnold Schwarzenegger. That depends entirely on President Donald Trump. If he sticks to the issues on which he was elected, if he fulfills the promises that used to hang on Steve Bannon's wall in the West Wing, then I think you'll see positive coverage not just from Breitbart News but from other conservative media outlets. However, if this becomes an Arnold Schwarzenegger situation where he swings to the left in an attempt to appease his critics in the media and the Democratic Party, then I think you will see a war.